Hi guys, I'm Silver and welcome to I Woke Up Next To You Again. So I've seen other YouTubers playing this so I looked up the game and it looks really interesting so now I'm playing it. <laughs> that's that's the origin story of, of this playthrough. Alright, I woke up. I woke up next to him, her or him? Him? I moved to a new place recently and found someone. I woke up next to him again. He told me, Hey, this is a one-time thing. I have this and that. And I said, Yeah, of course. Me too. Yet here we are. Hi, that was pretty good or you should get going. Hi. Hey. Look. It's been great and all. But it'd be the best for both of us if we kept this to a two-night stand. Will we see each other again? Maybe. I like you, I just don't think it'll turn out well. Ooh, there's some glitchiness. Look, I really gotta go. Maybe we'll see each other around the city? Um... <laughs> bye. I don't wanna... Be like, I I'll miss you, or whatever, to somebody that's like, See ya! Hmm. I kept meeting him after that. Not on purpose. We just seem to be in the right place at the right time. He'd say something like, What a coincidence. Nice to see you again. And I'd reply, Same. Wanna grab a drink? He was charming. I never could refuse. I feel so tired afterwards. It doesn't feel good anymore. But we still do it. Morning. I've been thinking. I'm ready to make a commitment to our relationship of repeated one night stands. <laughs> what about you? I don't know. I mean, I just talked about how it doesn't feel good anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think this is bad for us? What? Of course not. It makes you feel good. It takes a little of the edge off. Doesn't it? Is this about addiction? It's too much. It's too much, it's too frequent. What? No. What about we go for another round? Just forget it all. Forget these worries. I can't. No, I don't want to. I can't. Then maybe we can just talk. We don't have to do anything. I just... don't want to lose contact with you is all. Hmm. My- I mean, I'm- I'm choosing my answers based on the sus suspicion that this is about addiction. But let's- let's play along, cause I don't wanna- I don't wanna ruin it by predicting ahead too much. Alright, there's no harm in just keeping in touch. After that, everything began to remind me of him. If he wasn't there, I felt aimless, restless. I forget what I'd been doing. My hopes, my ambitions, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not about a person. Anyway, before I met him, oh, the hopes and ambitions before I met him. 
One day, I wake up feeling sluggish. Head pounding. I've never felt like this before. I automatically turn to call him. I know he'll make it better. Or will he make it worse? Of course not. Don't call him. In a sudden moment of clarity, I pause. Take a breath. Don't call him. I don't know how I got through the day, but I did. I can't call him again. After that morning, I refused to think about him, and he just left. I never saw him again. Every night it doesn't happen, I feel strange, as if I'm missing something, a crucial part of myself. This is about addiction, I'm almost positive now, but as time goes on, I forget. I don't mind as much, and my mind clears. Hello. <laughs> I thought maybe the game was about to end. A good friend moved in with me yesterday. How have you been? Why well, move? What are you up to? Uh, how have you been? Great. Normal. Bored, in fact. It'll be nice to have you around again. You too. So what you up to? Haven't heard from you in a long time. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> I've just been busy with this guy. Oh, tell me more. Can I meet him? Sure, a picture or a vague question. Hmm. I don't know what this is getting at. Let's evade the question. Because I feel like that's a give in to the addiction or don't type deal again. Well, we broke it off some time ago. So it doesn't matter now. Is everything fine? I hate it when people worry for me. Sometimes, though, I wonder what might happen if I told the truth. I'm not sure. Something's happened. Hey, I'm here for you. I'm not going to leave again if you need me. Yeah. Is everything fine? Who is that guy? I care about you, you know? Thanks. Hey, you don't look so good. Um, I think it switched colors. Because I think that was me saying I don't feel so good. Or you don't look so- or her saying I don't look so good. I try not to remember our time together. Sometimes I remember vividly, and everything comes back. Why am I here again? I'm tired once more. Sluggish, slow thoughts. More tired than I've ever been before. But I have my good friend here now, to help me let the past go and prevent me from meeting up one last time. Whoa! <laughs> okay. That was fascinating. For one thing, I love the style of this game. I kept wanting to say that, but I didn't want to ruin the flow of it too much. That's how into it I was. But the, the style and the sound and everything is just gorgeous and really, really well done. I'm gonna replay it. I mean, that was really short, and I want to see a different ending. I woke up. Um, let's see. So, there was a point where I could just give in, and I kind of want to see what would happen if I did that, so I'm just gonna go all in on this one. Hmm, I'm gonna ask if he wants to stay for breakfast. Wanna stay for breakfast? I've been told I'm a great cook. Ugh. 
Let's go. I can't deny free food. <laughs> I cooked us breakfast. The conversation wasn't as awkward as I thought it would be. I wouldn't mind having it again. I didn't tell him that. He left. I kept meeting him after that. Not on purpose. Yeah, we've seen all this. <laughs> Wanna grab a drink? Okay. I've been thinking. What about you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the part. Um. Me too. I'm ready for this relationship to level up. Awesome! So, there's a gap in my phone contacts that's just waiting to be filled. Want to fill it? Here's my number. Yeah, here's my number. Call me. I'm open between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. What? No midnight shifts? A face like this requires work. Gotta get my beauty sleep on. As much as I've gotten tired of it all, I can't let go. It's a habit I'm not willing to break. After that, I love how the music changed. Ooh, dark. Everything began to remind me of him. If he wasn't there, I felt aimless, restless. I forgot what I'd been doing. My hopes, my ambitions, we've seen all this, before I met him. One day I wake up feeling sluggish. I've never felt like this before. I automatically turn to call him. I know he'll make it better. Or will he make it worse? Of course not. Call him. Hey, I need you. Please come over. No, what? I don't need him. I just want him to be here. Why would... The screen starts glitching out more as you give in. That's really interesting. Years pass. I can't remember much. I can't remember my friends, my family. They'll talk, but I won't listen. All I remember is... him. Whoa. <laughs> I loved this. That was really profound. Um, a lot more profound than I was thinking. I was thinking this would just be like a story about romance or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was, I mean, to me, that was very clearly about addiction. It could be about multiple things, but I personally have an addictive personality. I've never been addicted to hard drugs or anything, luckily, but... I know that draw, I know that pull, I know that mindset very well, so it seems very obvious, at least to me. But yeah, guys, I want to know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you connect to this or think, have different theories about what it means. Or maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe it just is about a guy and you get really caught up in somebody toxic. Maybe it's about toxic relationships. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I really enjoyed that, so... Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, bye for now.